So today we're over here at a DNA garage. We're gonna go check out uh, what they're up to. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to show you guys uh, some of the intercooler setups they got, the V mounts, the front mounts, and uh, yeah, everything else. Check out the cars they have right here in the front. And then more FDs over there. Every time you come uh, to DNA Garage, it's kind of like a car show. You always find a bunch of RX-7s and different rotary kind of cars here. Well, let's go inside and check out uh, what's going on. <laughs> what's up, Louis? All right, all right. So, what's going on over here? Uh, we're doing a V mount and adjusting the light height. Nice. It's pretty much ready to get picked up. All the mounts made and the piping and everything. There's a guy making some jigs for me. Okay. So I just tell him, hey, I need, give me five pipes of each, and they're they're on the jig. We just easy bolt on that way. We can try to ship them and sell them too, like online. Oh, you can make your own kit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really clean and done. So I know a lot of you guys like uh, the front mount uh, setup on the intercoolers, but uh, they look mean and beefy and everything. Makes your makes your car look nice, but this setup right here is a lot more efficient. What do you consider some of the benefits of this, Louis? Well, both besides air temps and uh, and dropping also your your water temps. The runners are a lot shorter than what they would be like on a front mount, so there's less pressure drop. And when you're under boost and uh, throttle response is improved a lot too. Kind of gives you more of the low end, huh? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it brings the torque up a little bit more. This white one has a V-mount too, huh? We're actually working on that one. That one is a, a big project. It's full, full build. Uh, line internal, um, balance, side clearance, the engine, big street port. Uh, we're doing the 83 series uh, EFR in it. Uh, on that one, the V-mount is going to be kind of tricky. The guy wants to keep his uh, M2 performance airbox and the battery in the front. So it's going to be a first for us where we have to make it clean at the same time efficient. And yeah. Of course, everything's gonna be ducted. So that's that's it's it's a weekend car for the guy, but he tracks it and wants to actually make it reliable on the track, bring all the temps down. So. That is very nice. Check out the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> weird. I thought somebody stuck something in my exhaust last time. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So this one's uh, ready to go home. Sounds good. So let me know what you guys think about this.
So this car got a V mount. It has a bunch of different things they did to it, but uh, we'll we'll get we'll jump into this car later on. Uh, if you guys want me to review it, we'll talk about all the specs and everything that went with this car, and try to record some good shots with the drone and everything. So. So if there's a topic or something you guys want us to make a video about, just let me know, put it down in the comments. Me and Louie will check it out and then we'll see what we can make for you guys. All right guys, thanks a lot for checking out this video. I'll see you guys next time.